Hi, everyone. I'm Paula Toledo. I am the author of The Lost Song, How Long. I am very emotional actually recording this because last night I got an email to my personal email and it read, I'm reading it to you now. Hi, Paula, get ready for a ton of random people to message you about your song, How Long, because it was included on a Russian bootleg DVD with no attribution, and people have been desperately searching for it for a while. I suggest capitalizing on this with some re-release music, Take Care, and I'm so glad I can listen to more of your music now. So I got this email and I thought, <laughs> I'm not sure if this is real. It sounds a little bit surreal, um, potentially a phishing scam. Um, I proceeded to get like, a lot more emails in my inbox with the same type of message. And then my Instagram started getting flooded. And I thought, um, oh my gosh, have I been hacked? I was not sure what was going on. And then I started getting um, donations to my for my music because on my website, um, paulatoledo.ca, I had a few years ago thought about um, re-releasing or not re-releasing, but releasing some new music and to fund it by giving people the option to kind of sponsoring me and then getting a behind the scenes of um, how I'm creating my music. And there was an option there for a donation. People could donate and um, get involved in the making of my music. And um, it turns out that I got an email with somebody donating money to that page and to my music. So then it was only then that I started thinking that this could be actually real. And um, I rushed home. My 16 year old son is a techie. And I said, can you help me figure this out? I'm not sure if this is real or not. And he went on to uh, the internet and Googled my name and saw that there was a Reddit community with um, people over a thousand people, I think, from all over the world who have been <laughs> searching for the author to the song How Long for over 16 years. And uh, he said there's people remaking your music on TikTok and there's a YouTube vid, a bunch of people redoing um, the song on YouTube or putting visuals to the song. Um, I started getting more and more emails, more and more DMs. And I just want to say that I am so emotional about it and so grateful for this community. I would have never thought in a million years when I wrote this song, I think it was in 2003, maybe three or four, that it would reach people and connect with people in this way. And I'm so grateful to all of you who have shown such dedication over 16 years to find me. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I filled with all kind of emotions. I'm overjoyed. I'm blown away. I'm in complete awe. I am really touched and moved by the outpouring of love that I've been getting from people from all over the world. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. First of all. And second of all, I had posted, um, yesterday on my Instagram stories that, um, I really wanted to thank every single person who had, shown such interest in my music and connection to my music and really wanted to say thank you and to do that by answering any questions that people have. So I put on my Instagram stories, I asked if anybody wanted to ask me any questions that I would answer them. So I'm just going to go through them. Hopefully I don't miss out on anyone, but I will answer the questions that were sent to me in my stories. Um, hi, Paula. You are insanely talented. Will you put how long up for sale? So I've been getting a lot of this, um, these questions and um, for sure I will release it hopefully in the new year. I guess what I wanted to say about the song was um, some people were asking like, why wasn't it on my um, LP, which is on Spotify. And the reason is, is that I recorded an EP, a five song EP, um, which actually isn't on Spotify, which I'm thinking now should get released. Um, I should probably release those five songs as well. Um, and then I wrote the song How Long, and I had recorded that after the EP and also before um, the, the LP, my full-length album. 
And the song How Long, I think what happened was I really loved the song, um, but sonically the way it sounded because it was recorded in a different studio and um, just had a different vibe to it. I wasn't sure if it um, thematically felt felt like it belonged on the on my full length album. So I didn't release it. So the song has not been released. How it found its way into the world was I had um, a weekly gig at um, a, a venue in Vancouver here in Canada where I live. And I would show up every Tuesday and perform. And um, there was a, a person in the audience who loved my music and approached me afterwards. And he said that he worked for Lionsgate Film and loved my music. And he had requested to license that song, How Long, that I played for one of their made for TV movies. And so I licensed the song to uh, a movie called Secret Lives. Secret Lives production had um, aired in North America, primarily in the States, I, I believe, to begin with. And then it got um, uh, released all over the world. And I, I can tell that it was released worldwide because on my royalty statements, I could see that it was appearing in Italy and in Russia and all these different countries all over the world. Now, when I found out that this was legitimate i went on the reddit community there's a subreddit um, page of people um through i guess there's a community of lost songs where people don't know who the author is of these songs and they try to track down who the original artist is who wrote it and there was a community of people looking for me and looking for um who the author is of how long and so i was reading the posts and i was just just blown away, just completely, completely blown away. And I, um, I think the story goes, but maybe somebody can, I would love for somebody to get it straight for me. I have no idea how my song became lost because I believe that in that movie, there should have been a credit of my name um, at the end, rolling credits for the artist who sang how long it should have been my name. So I don't really understand why there was why it became a lost song but maybe someone can explain it to me um so okay some more questions um let's see let's start from the beginning so that i don't leave any out um okay so how do you feel about your song being compared to the cranberries so when i originally um when I originally wrote that song um, and used to play it live, I used to get a lot of people saying that it reminded them of the Cranberries. And I suspect that it's maybe the OO part, like in the chorus, like the, how long will it take? Oh, that part, maybe melodically, the rhythm of the melody and maybe the bridge part, maybe is reminiscent of it. Was I influenced by them? For sure. I think that um, Zombie, like all those songs in the 80s, um, I was actually in university then, was something that I listened to quite a bit. I wouldn't say that they were my favorite artists, but I definitely listened to them quite a bit and really loved their music. Um, next one. Uh, do you have Stray in Full Still? We would love to hear that one too. So Stray is another song that I wrote um, that was on the first EP and I'd never release it on Spotify, but I will now that people are asking for it. Um, will you make a new album soon? I'd love to hear some new music from you. So a bit of a story. I, um, I've quit my job in marketing. Um, I was working in marketing. That was my career. And I quit my job, um, not really knowing what I wanted to do, but I felt like I was going to be taking a different path. I ended up um, finding my way to singing on the stages in Paris um, with a singer by the name of Isabelle Longnus, who is my neighbor. And I sang back for her. And when I returned, I realized how much I loved singing and performing. And um, that became my full-time career for several years and released the albums and toured across um, Canada and um, recorded in, in France. When I had my children, it became really difficult to tour and to make music and to gig. So I started um, recording little bits and snippets of music and songs in kind of a home recording studio. At that time, I had also lost my husband very tragically and it was music was really um, my escape and my sense of 
reconnecting with who I was and what I loved and finding some joy in my life, even despite such hard times and the despair and the grief. And it really saved me. I started making music with people from all over the world through the internet. We would share files and share song files and these musicians would play drums or sing backup vocals or play keyboards and from Ireland and Australia and um, just all over the, the place. And it became this community of um, fellow musicians that were helping me write my music. And these songs have not been released to the world. And I've been trying to figure out a way to get them out um, because I've been um, busy raising my children and working and trying to, I guess, just re um, rebuild my life up that music hasn't taken the priority that it should. So I would love to get these songs out into the world. I'm not quite sure how to make that happen. I also really have a dream of accompanying these new songs with a book. I'd love to write a book and accompany these songs with it to share a little bit of, about the journey and about how song has really helped me um, connect with myself and also connect with others. And in a small way, that's what the song How Long is, is about. Um, I think somebody asked, like, what is the song about? And How Long is really, um, it's really, uh, it's how do I describe it? it it's a song that is really um, a statement about how a person can feel when they're very disconnected from who they are truly meant to be and how living in somebody else's shadow in terms of like what they expect of you or trying to please other people for all the wrong reasons and not really trying to please yourself can really be damaging and um so um I think it's really a testament to really this whole community and the whole um, way that this song has re-entered back into my life is reinforcing my belief that when you write from a very true place and if when you create things from a very true place without caring about who's going to listen to it or whether or not it's going to get you know, followers or, you know, listens, or if you're going to make a ton of money from it or become famous from it, how when you don't think about those things and re you really stay true to who you are and do what you love to do, how um, the world can respond to it in a really beautiful way. And so I'm just really, really, really touched by everybody that um, after 16 years, yeah, this has come back to me. So thank you. It's a really beautiful early Christmas present. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, sorry, it just really, really, really moves me. Um, do you plan to post that song or more music in general? Yes, we answered that question. Um, Hi, Paula, this is my question. Do you have the original lyrics of the song? I do. And I really want to do something really fun with it. I've seen some people on TikTok covering my song and um, with lyrics that they're interpreting from what they hear. I know that I didn't really articulate the words very well. So I think that everybody has come up with their own sense of what they think the lyrics are. And I'd love to run a contest to see who can um, get as close to the original lyrics as possible. And also, um, maybe like the best cover version of it. And then also like the best YouTube video of it with people's own images that they're putting to the song. And I'll share more on that later, but I have some ideas. Um, did you know the whole how long song hunting before it was even found? I had no idea, no idea. Again, just completely blown away. Um, what are some other ones? how do you think your song wound up on a bootleg copy of a French movie? So from what I understand from the Reddit community was that somebody had created a bootleg DVD of a film, a French film. And then on the menu where you kind of toggle between things in the DVD menu, there was my song, how long, and I don't know if somebody re recorded that and then try put it online. I'm not sure, but somebody, I think in Russia wrote, um, do you know who the original artist is of this song? And I think that's how it became a lost song, but maybe somebody can correct me and let me know what the truth is and what the story is behind it. Cause I would love, love, love to know. 
um, who does the backing vocals. That's me. And also um, my co-producer at the time, Jonathan Anderson sings, the, he's the male vocal and also plays guitar and a bunch of other instruments on the, on the track. He's, he's brilliant. Um, okay. And um, who are, were your musical inspirations? People have said how long sounds a lot like the cranberries. Yes. I think at that time, of my life, I was listening to um, a lot of U2 and um, who else was I listening to? Indigo Girls. I was really into folk music at the time. Fleetwood Mac was a very big one and continues. I love their music. Um, the Beatles, obviously, uh, just I grew up listening to the Beatles and George Harrison. Um, just love, love their music. And uh, I think those are the main questions that I've received. Um, let me see if there's any other ones. Um, but it, please, you know, continue to send me more questions. I'd love to answer them. Somebody was asking if I would do an interview on YouTube with them. And I would have also happy to be doing that. Um, just so grateful that all of you guys have um, connected in such a beautiful way and connected me back to my music. And I really do hope to release some of this, the, the music that exists in my hard drives that haven't made it out to the world. And um, thank you so, so much.